Legionnaire's disease as in millionaire? Or Legionnaire's disease as in for billionaires? I know what you're thinking, but first of all, Legionnaire's disease is not in any way associated with millionaires or billionaires and I assure you of that. Let's watch the following about Mr. Shades. Let's find out more about Legionnaire's disease by watching the following. Legionnaire's disease is a severe form of pneumonia. But first of all, saan ba nakukuha ang Legionnaire's disease? Watch the following to learn more. So, saan nga ba nanggagaling ang Legionnaire's disease? Let's find out how Legionella forms to later on become the Legionnaire's disease found in humans. Now, Legionnaire's disease is a severe form of pneumonia caused by the Legionella bacteria which is usually found in fresh bodies of water where they grow. Examples that we have are lakes or streams. But this is not limited to fresh or natural bodies of water. It could also be harbored in man-made sources of water such as what we have at home. Examples of our household sources are fountains. We also have shower heads, faucets, and of course, we have hot tubs. It could also be found in air conditioning systems in buildings. And since air conditioning systems were mentioned, you might wonder if the air conditioning systems from your cars or homes are included. The answer is no. Air conditioners at home and in private vehicles does not use water to condition the air, so they are not at risk for growing or harboring the Legionella bacteria, so they are okay. Now that we know where the Legionella bacteria which causes Legionnaire's disease originates, how does it spread? First, Legionella multiplies in water. Then this water containing Legionella bacteria will spread in droplets small enough for a person to inhale it. Then when inhaled, these droplets will go to the lungs and the person can either get Legionnaire's disease or Pontiac fever. Now, if Legionnaire's disease is a severe form of pneumonia, Pontiac fever, on the other hand, is the milder form of Legionnaire's. Clinical manifestations of Pontiac fever includes flu-like symptoms like fever, headache, and muscle aches but with no pneumonia. Now that we know how it spreads, let us identify the at-risk population. Actually, healthy people exposed to Legionella usually does not get affected. Those people at risk are first, the elderly, or those aged 50 years old and above. Number two are the smokers or former smokers, which means that even if you have already stopped smoking, you are still at risk for having Legionnaire's disease. Number three are the COPD patients or those who have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which includes chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Number four are those who have weak immune systems, such as those who are post-transplant patients and cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy. And of course, those who have other conditions or underlying illnesses such as diabetes, liver failure, and kidney failure. Now, let's move on to the signs and symptoms. How would we know if a person already has Legionnaire's disease or if he or she is already exhibiting manifestations of the said disease? If a person has Legionnaire's disease, he or she will most likely experience Number 1 is cough Number 2, shortness of breath And number 3 is fever Number 4, 
he or she will most likely experience headaches, and number five, muscle aches. So, if you are experiencing signs and symptoms, it is important to get checked and assessed. Legionnaire's disease and Pontiac fever, which we have mentioned earlier, can be diagnosed by the same tests. Number one is the urine antigen test. In this test, the patient will be asked to collect a sample of his or her urine in a sterile container just like what is shown in the picture. Then after that, this will be given to the laboratory for testing, which will determine if it contains Legionella molecules. Then, we have sputum collection. Now, sputum collection is done in the morning right after waking up of the patient. Right after awakening in the morning means that gargling and toothbrushing will not be done and no eating or drinking anything before sample collection. The collected sample will also be tested in the laboratory to determine the presence of bacteria which caused the disease. And of course, chest x-ray. Now this one is done to determine pneumonia. Remember that it was mentioned earlier that Legionnaire's disease is a severe form of pneumonia. Pneumonia and Legionnaire's look the same in an x-ray film, that's why we have sputum collection and urine antigen test to rule out pneumonia and confirm Legionnaire's. Now, even if the diagnostic tests done to determine both Legionnaire's and Pontiac fever are the same, they are treated differently. For Legionnaire's disease, the physician prescribes antibiotic treatment for the infection. Treatment also includes hospital care which means that the person will be admitted for a few days in the hospital. Then for Pontiac fever, since it is the mild form, it resolves on its own without taking any medication. To summarize things, Legionnaire's disease is a severe form of pneumonia caused by inhaling the Legionella bacteria in water. At-risk population includes the elderly, smokers, COPD patients, those with weak immune system, and those with underlying conditions. Manifestations include cough, fever, shortness of breath, headaches, and muscle aches, and it could be diagnosed with urine antigen testing and sputum collection. Treatment is prescribed antibiotic medication. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching. This is Maila Marie Mendoza from N3A.